the crafty nana getting ready to party with some more bugs see you in a minute okay so the red frame is now marbled up quite a pretty color um, and ready to go I've got to clean the glass still um, I've just cut um, a piece of the pink marbling because I think that would go quite well with the colors of the frame look at that gorgeous now I've just I've cut away all the back of this bug so hopefully he's going to sit flat inside there I shall try him in in a minute um, although I think that's looking quite good um, and then I'm going to choose which which beetle, which real beetle I'm going to turn him into and, and then away we go. I'm just using a regular glue stick to um, put all over the base and then stick the paper down. Simple okay, as that. So I think this is the bug I'm going to you do next and I think this is the base I'm going to use to do him. This is what I'm going to put him onto and then this is what will go over the top of him. So he'll be sitting in here. He's not gonna have these long antennae because as you can see, this one doesn't. Uh, we're gonna give him the big eyes, the bigger head, and then do him. So that's the plan. I have removed his feelers. I have cut into these so that they will bend backwards nicely because we need them more this angle. So I just put a little tiny bit of hot glue on those just hold them down once I've got everything in position same with his back legs I have just cut them at the joint so I'll be able to just make them change direction more so the um, next thing is going to be adding some clay now to get the correct shape so that's what's up next so this is the air dry clay I just saw that bug in a different colorway and it looked fantastic so I might have to um, have a look at that. Right, so the first thing he has is a broader head with his eyes and his thorax coming across like this. I'm going to take a little bit of glue. I don't want to use super glue or hot glue because hot glue is going to make a hell of a mess. So let's see if we can get these eyes in the right position because his eyes are very prominent um, and I want something quite bold. Thank you very much for the tea my darling. Uh, 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 uh. Bug-eyed, literally bug-eyed. That's pretty cool. I'm probably not going to make you watch me holding his antennae in the right position for the next 10 minutes. But I can have a cup of tea whilst I'm doing it. So Okay, so I've put um, clay down one side and I want to get the ridges. So I think what I'm going to do though is I might very well, mm, am I brave enough to try and do both sides? The trouble is with one side still wet and I go and do the other side I could well stick my fingers onto the bit I've already done. We're going to risk it because we're not very patient. So we'll go for it. Not the easiest clay to work with. Well, it, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It's not the easiest clay to work with, but it's not the hardest either. But it's just getting used to what you can do with it and what you can't. So let's smooth it all out a little bit, get it all in the right positions. Then we can put our ridges onto this side as well. Okay, I think we have achieved it. I think one side's slightly rigid than the other. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So I put the clay away. Always important to make sure that you keep your clay moist because once it dries out, it's really no good. So when you're working with kids, it's impossible because you're constantly saying, put the lid on, put the lid on. But there we go. All right, so I'm going to put the little bit of hot glue that I was going to do for his leggies to make them set in the position I want to have them. 
I think this has got a little bit too much there. Um, and then we can let him dry because obviously he needs to. Okay, so now Bug is investigating his friend. He's quite pleased that he's looking a lot more like him. So we're now going to let him dry because we can't really paint him till he's dry. So he's at the, for the moment he's a done job and I can go on and do something else whilst I'm waiting for him dry enough for me to paint. I'm quite pleased with his eyes. They're really nice and buggy like his friend. Um, his, we might elongate his um, antennae a little bit. Uh, his legs have set back nicely. Um, happy so far it's been looking very nicely. closely at the colors um, and I'm thinking the only way I'm going to get that really rich glossiness is with nail polish so I've got out the nail polish and I'm going to have a go with that to see if I can get the exact color I want so the trouble is quite a lot of my nail polish is actually quite old but that is looking as if it might might do the job It's deep and glossy and the right shade of red. So I'll get the other side in. Then it becomes a bit more purple across the top here um, on the saddle. And then we got this little fabulous metallic -y lime green. Now I can do that with eyeshadow, but I've also got some lime metallic green nail polish here that we might use. So let's get this on first, one job at a time. I have to say, when people say, what do you do? And I say, mix media. I don't think they have any understanding of just how mixed the media I use is. Anything that comes to hand that does the job. Okay, so I found this colour. And I think this is the colour of his buggy eyes. Um, so I'm just going to give him some shiny red bug eyes Ooh. doesn't have a colour name well that's a shame it would have been quite cool to know what that colour was called um, I've got some really 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 scarlety red here and I'm just gonna just tip in these little bits around the edge of his eyes that scarlet Maybe take a little bit of the scarlet down the side here. Now we're going to go to an orange. This might not be orange enough, but let's see. Oh no, that's going to be perfect with the red underneath. It's going to show up the striations, it's going to be glossy, it's going to look, it's going to look just like our bug should. There we go, it's coming to focus. Take his legs and just make them a little bit green. Although this isn't a metallic one, with all the metallics underneath and the high gloss, I think it's going to have the right effect anyway. So what will make his eyes stand out more is when we get the metallic green on his face so that his red eyes stand out even brighter. So let's get my eyeshadows. I need my eyeshadow applicator. Maybe I have to get the green in and then redo his eyes. I have to add some areas of metallic blue as well as the green just at the tip of his tail here. Just 
rather attractive. And he had some metallic-y purple going across this area. I would say that oops, too much light on it. I would say that we're there. Look at that. Look at that. Bloody fabulous. <laughs>